Mark Hamill, you had the granddaddy. You had, I mean, one of the biggest secrets in cinema history. Right. Uh, the Darth Vader when you're on it. Kids are just an episode two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? Um, but, so how long did you have to keep that secret? Well, the contrast was when we did Star Wars, nobody cared. You know, I read it and I, I, I gave it to my friend to read. I said that this is the goofiest thing I've ever read. And then he called and he said, you're right, it is goofy. Uh, can I give it to Meredith? I said, sure. I passed it all around. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cared. By the second film, that's when the scrutiny became more intense. Yeah. And there was a wonderful uh, substitute uh, uh, revelation in that scene the way we filmed it, Vader said, you don't know the truth. Obi-Wan killed your father. And the idea of Alec Guinness being the, the real villain, I thought, wow, what a spectacular twist. And it's just as you see in the film, no, search your feelings, you know it's true. Wallop, the hand goes off. Um, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> so vivid. <laughs> uh, the director, Irvin Kershaw, uh, took me aside. He came to my dressing room, actually, and he said, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I know it. George Lucas knows it. And when I tell you, you'll know it. But if it leaks, we'll know it was you. <laughs> so I said, what, what? And he handed me the piece of paper that said, I am your father. I was shocked. I said, is, is, that, is that true? He said, well, you search your feelings and we're going to play it like, yeah, it is true. <laughs> so, oh, my gosh, Dad Vader. <laughs> uh, and then I was paranoid because I thought, uh, you know, uh, it was way before social media and all of that. But yeah. I had to keep it the secret for about a year and a half. I didn't tell Carrie. I didn't tell, well, you know, telephone, telegraph, tell a Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> She had no vault whatsoever. In fact, Harris and I would test her. If you really wanted to get something out fast, you'd ask Carrie to keep it in your confidence. Yeah. And go. <laughs> so at the screening, when that happened, Harrison turned to me and said, Hey, kid, you didn't fucking tell me that. <laughs> I apologize for the F-bomb. I only used it for historical accuracy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, I was so thrilled, because, I mean, I don't like having the, the burden of that. I talk in my sleep, you know. It could be really dangerous. Uh, does Harrison like your impression of him? <laughs> no, actually, he once said to me, Hey, I don't sound anything like that. <laughs> it's very accurate. <laughs> It is shrouded in, in secrecy, the whole thing. We're not allowed to know anything. So, Daisy, how long did you have to keep the secret of actually being in it, that you'd got the part? Three months. No, oh, well. three months! Yeah. You have to tell someone in three months. Did you not know that? Oh, I told them when I got cast. I told the taxi driver. You didn't tell anyone. I, I, I released it the other day. I did tell the taxi driver. I can't lie to you. I did. I did. Yeah, but your family didn't know. No, my family didn't know. The taxi yeah. driver did. <laughs> I got in the taxi and I was just like, mate, I've just been casting Star Wars. He was just like, all right, mate. <laughs> Don't think you believe me. Yeah. So who did you tell first, Daisy? I told my sister and my mum when I came in, and then I told my dad, and then he was kind of sleeping, and he went, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, then, and then the next day, he was like, I think your mum told me something. And I was like, no, 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 I told you that. And then he went, oh, I was m always more of a Trek fan. Oh. <laughs> Devastating. Yeah. That's uh, a bad father. <laughs> he's, he's great. He's back today. Yeah. How was your family when you heard of them? Um, they had no clue what Star Wars was, but they were great that I got a job. <laughs> And Carrie, the secrecy thing. How have you managed to keep? It? I mean, did they give Anything. you a script? Did they give you a script? They gave me a script for about three hours and waited, on, you know, out yeah, yeah. by the gate. And uh, so it was a lot of pressure to. I just looked for my bits. No idea what context it was in. <laughs> nothing. And I still don't know. <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, I, uh, I I don't know. It was awful, but I told him. No, no, I, I, and I kept the secret. So she's so rubbish, she told me. Because yeah. I knew I'd do the show one day and it would help me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I was, the people You've talking, had, people be talking about Star Wars and I'm thinking, I know what happens. Do you? Yes. Have you seen the film? Yes, but before but that, that, a year ago she told me. Yeah. Oh, everything. Everything. Oh my God, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. 
I can't believe, I, of all the people to trust with a secret, I'm not the one. <laughs> but you were a look. Yeah, I know, I was very good. You challenged, you developed you as a person. No, but here's the thing. <laughs> Should we let this wonder? Is, is he happy to stay there? He's overexposed and he's tired. Okay. Should no, we, he'll be fine. Should we ignore him? Absolutely. <laughs> Act like nothing happened. Oh he, he is having a whale of a time. <laughs> <laughs> his, his back hurts a little bit. <laughs> He needs a vibrator. He, he is doing yoga. <laughs> I can't believe his schedule. Well, listen, there's an awful lot of people in the audience who love you. Um, so, Harrison. All right, calm down. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to give an opportunity for some of them to say I love you. So, uh, so who, where the, oh, look at her blue hand right up there. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you already did it, didn't you? Uh, OK, what, what's your name? Anna. Anna, and stand up. Where are you from, Anna? Uh, sorry. Sorry. She's Love, Harrison. That's the point. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> we, we'll get into that. OK, so there he is. He's, 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 he's not going any nearer. But OK, so just look him in the eyes and tell him. Oh, wait for the, wait for the music. Wait for the music. Look him in the eyes. Look him in the eyes. I love you. Can someone else have a go? Do you mind? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you, are, you there? You there? What's your, Santa, what's your name? Joker. What? Joker. From Belgium. Joker. Joker. Joko. Joker. 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 Yes. Leave her alone. <laughs> oh, so, so you're, you're from, do you live here now? No, I don't. So you're just here from Belgium on holiday? I came for this, yes. To see Mr. Ford? Yes. <gasps> Okay. Wait, wait, wait. okay, so here we go, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. So, mute, mute, music. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Music. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Amelia, obviously your, your mother loves you because you're her daughter, <laughs> yeah. but she is actually a sort of a fan as well. No, it's not, it's not quite that. It's, um, well, uh, no, <laughs> she is. Oh, goodness, right. Yeah. So, my, uh, uh, one day my mum came to set on the Star Wars set, uh, and I was getting this thing called Cyberscanned, which is where you stand in this kind of loads of cameras and they kind of take your form and put you into a computer and make a toy or a, some sort of merchandise or your face on a cushion. <laughs> um, and so I go off and do this and I come back and Mum's like, I've made a great friend. And I'm like, brilliant, it's lovely, excellent. And uh, she's like, it's the merchandise, you know, director of all of Star Wars or something. And I'm like, wow, well, that's very impressive. Um, and then before I know it, what comes in the post um, is loads of cushions <laughs> with um, my face on it. <laughs> so my own mum, gets, she gets to see it a fair amount, you know. But apparently it's not enough. So uh, <laughs> I was kind of blown away at how much much merchandise there is. Yes, it's but really, also, and it's but not also, even, I mean, it's just the beginning. It was like the pre-merchandise. Not even the real stuff is out yet, and my mum has all of it. And but doesn't know about the doll yet, so we'll also, this is so it. weird. I don't know. Is this in your flat or her house? Oh, God, this no. room? Oh, right. Okay. So basically, she thought it'd be really funny if I came home and it was everywhere in my. <laughs> okay. So this is <laughs> oh, no. this is this is Amelia's actual bedroom. Well. The... <laughs> <laughs> Joke, and then, and then, oh, oh, and then, oh my goodness! And we found the photo, but it's not like that now. That there is like another reason why I'm you single. You took a first date back to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> I just did this little thing once. <laughs> I don't have a CV. I just have a bedroom. <laughs> Daisy, you get to use your lovely English voice. I do. Throughout. I do. Uh, John, not so much. No. <laughs> have an American accent in it. Do it. He's so good. No, it's incredible. Your accent is oh. so Amazing. good. Amazing. Oh, thank you. I mean, I tried it in the British, but it didn't work out. I'm a stormtrooper. I'm an air saviour. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> did, did you do it on, on stage? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, and JJ was just like, uh, John, I, 
I don't think it's right. It's not <laughs> right. So let's go with American. But what if you hadn't been able to do American? Then I would have been pissed. You'd <laughs> <laughs> have been fired. Fired. Because <laughs> and, and, Carrie, way back in the beginning, 19... Was it 76? 76. 76. When you're on set, your first day on set, you had a similar thing with an accent. But mine was an accident accent. <laughs> I had been, It's viral. I'd been going to school here. It's the Central School of Speech and Drama. Oh, yes. And we've been taught to sort of say what to do to die to day, to minute to two to two, a thing distinctly hard to say but a harder thing to do. And so... Uh, when hey, all right, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? And you can see it in all my work. <laughs> uh, all the levels and the layers. So, um... I went in and it was like, uh, Governor Talkin, I thought I recognized your foul stench when I arrived on board. Now, I did it conversationally and George came to me. And the only time I really got direction from George was the first day he said, you are really upset. You're just about to have your planet blown up and, you know, such like. <laughs> and when I get upset, I become British. <laughs> It, you, you're better at conflict than we are, clearly. <laughs> and so I just said, uh, so try to stop. Governor Talkin, I thought I recognized your foul stench when I arrived on board. <laughs> Thank you. It's 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 And where there are nerd fans, there are nerd tattoos. And I believe you've, you've had your first nerd tattoo. Yes, yes. I came across, um... A, uh, a, 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 a male. Um, <laughs> just say it, Felicity, just say it. <laughs> who has had the character of Jin tattooed onto his... Um, it's you. It's onto... you. He's had you tattooed. Well, I... <laughs> yes, I guess. Me, me, me as Jin, tattooed onto his calf. Oh, I'm really oh, worried for a second. <laughs> Picture of it, I think I don't think we can show that. <laughs> here, here's here you are. Here you are on a calf. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, man. Oh I see, there's his ankles. <laughs> okay. So that's amazing. It's actually kind of an oddly good likeness for a tattoo. Yeah, I'm just worried about what happens when the hair grows back. <laughs> <laughs> Planet of the Apes now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now. One of the things we saw in in the clip there, uh, Finn and Captain Phasma, you get into it. You have a big, a big fight. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been saying how I guess it's yin and yang. Y you're in the the outfit. Yeah. Which must make it harder. Yeah, it's not ideal. Not ideal to even move really in the outfit. <laughs> right. Let alone fight John. But if she, if you see what she was doing and and the training, it, it, it was she was ferocious. Mm. I was like, can she actually see? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I was swinging at her, I was just doing. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to you you've got to fight ahead as though you can see. Yeah, you got just that Muhammad Ali up. reach. I mean, but I felt my, the air on side. But my word, the strength. <laughs> yeah. There was a there's a moment of contact and the power with so watch. Good with which John uh, met me with, I will never forget. That was like it's me like, trying to save my own life. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would say, and I, I don't know, if I was a betting man mm. in that fight, I would put money on Gwendolyn. <laughs> uh, just because you do have the advantage. Well, we kind of talked about this. I've got a higher centre of gravity, so that's <laughs> not an advantage. I've got a contract on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a, can you do a face off for us? Do a face do a face off. So this is a, the start of the match. Start of the match. No, it only works if you stand. You've yeah, got, no, it only no, works. Works. I'm just warming up my knees because. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do tippy toes again. Though. Oh, <laughs> I'm so okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. But your boys went to see uh, the premiere. Yeah, they, they did. They were there last night. Yeah. They, they loved it. They, they, they. Um, my eldest obviously is 16, so he was allowed out that late. But Romeo normally he's uh, not. Um, so last night he went with his big brother, and he had the 
the honour and the thrill of watching it. And, um, I mean, they both came back and was raving about it and said it was really incredible, so... Hey, had a good hey, time. you know what would make your kids really jealous? What's that? Is if you just pose with a lightsaber with Finn. That would actually make them very jealous. Do it, do it. <laughs> I've got one, I've got one in Manchester United Red. Oh. Uh, where is it? No, I really do, I really do. Where's the blue one again? Okay, there's the blue one. And, and actually, now here's the thing, because you're in, is it, you're in the new King Arthur film? I am, just a small part, yeah. Have you done some sword training? <laughs> I have done some stuff. Okay, well, we're looking for some. Uh, oh, look at him. Look at this. <laughs> okay. You get that to work. Yeah. I'm moving well yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, way. No, uh, can, can, we not kill, can we not kill Kylie? That's all I ask. She's very kind. Now, there's a So basically, to turn this on, you push, you push that thing, that one, up. Okay? That. There we go. There you go. Oh! oh. 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 You've gone off. David Beckham! You've gone off. You've gone you off. have met your match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just wanted to meet you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, this week, you had the big London premiere. Yeah. And you were all there. Yeah. And you all got to meet royalty. Yeah. <laughs> I said, after, you know, your Royal Highness and <laughs> doing all that. I said, can you settle this for me? My mother was Queen Amidala. My father was Lord Vader. <laughs> My sister is Princess Leia. Doesn't that make me royalty? <laughs> I was hoping, you know, that they would agree. Uh, William said, well, absolutely. I, well, I think that should make me royalty. <laughs> Harry said, mm, I think I need more information. <laughs> So, so they're in the movie. Uh, are you are you allowed to tell us which stormtroopers they are? You kind of have to compare with body type and uh, oh, okay. try and figure it out. I mean, I only had one question for Harry when I met him was whether he's going to have Nigerian catering at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't met them before, and I also hadn't realised my dress was slightly sheer, so I was almost naked when I met Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Were they very good with eyes? They really kept the gaze up. <laughs> <laughs> and the party was in their house. Mm. Kensington Palace, yeah. 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 Is that their house? I don't know. I don't know if that's the way they live exactly, though. Because but they talk about the cottage. I'm like, is it a cottage? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that bit we know it's not true. It's yeah. not a cottage. Yeah. yeah. So, is there a function room? How does it work? Well, you did walk yeah. sort of past like a mess where people... It's like a canteen, and I thought, oh, is that where we're going? But what they had that? a lovely thing upstairs. What was that a red throne thing, throne room place with the, with the rope? I the wanted to pose the photographs on there and was dragged away by yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, I was trying... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was your feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to resist the urge to nick an ashtray as a souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. I think they leave things out for people to see. Do yeah. they? Yeah. 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 I'm coming across so broke right <laughs> <laughs> And now, so it's the big premiere, and the Boyega clan were out in force. Absolutely, man. Uh, you bagged extra oh, tickets. Oh, the babies! <laughs> oh, now, so this is your nephew? Yes, little JJ. Now, he's not called JJ after JJ Abrams, is he? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> no. I just thought it might have been a nod. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. No, 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 he's no. named after Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, never that. And so, did, did you bring everyone to Kensington Palace, or was that a, was that? Yeah, a... yeah, no, everyone, everyone came down to the palace. Woohoo! Well. Yeah, but as, as soon as thirty minutes in, my, my dad was like, "Where is the proper food?" <laughs> <laughs> so we had to we had to leave real quick. <laughs> but, but Gwendolyn, even if you weren't in these films, you would be at that premiere. You are like a proper Star Wars fan. I have been a Star Wars fan since I was six years old. Mm, wow. Yeah, and I've really done my best to keep away from you, Mark, <laughs> not to bother and harass you. And how amazing that you, then you were in the Star Wars thing, but also Game of Thrones. So, to, like, yeah. to game, I mean, to have <laughs> like when those people at Premier see you, Game of Thrones and Star Wars, they must have like a nerd gasm when you. <laughs> That's what it's called, yeah. <laughs> and only the occasionally there's an omission. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> but you did rock up to work. I mean, that, that, yeah. you, yeah. that is you. Yeah, yeah. They, they spent a lot of money removing me from the film. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I was in a green suit underneath it all, and it was half a practical suit and half a motor. Oh, there you oh. are. See, yeah. there. there I am. So you are sort of there. I mean... I was 100% there. Yeah. Well, yes, Sorry. I do know what you mean. Yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, no one had a clue who I was at the rap party, because I was like, hey, guys! And they were like, <laughs> oh, who's the over-familiar girl that no one recognises? <laughs> <laughs> And that, what is the story that at the at the audition you weren't a Star Wars aficionado? When no, you were no, I hadn't. Uh, uh, thanks for bringing this up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen any of the Star Wars films. Well, not a single one. Damn it! That's a disgrace. <laughs> I know, yes. I know, I was like one of the five people in the world. Yeah. No. So you hadn't seen any of them, so and I yet you rock up for the audition. I rock up for the audition, and uh, could you put that on the thing? Because my. Of course I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just safety first. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> story time. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so I. Uh, yeah, so I was, I was going to the audition and I thought, I'm just gonna... This character was amazing, she's a revolutionary, she's really cool, and the dialogue was amazing. And, but it kind of said, just in one of the, st in the stage directions, droid. And so I was like, droid. Droid. Uh, what's a droid? And then I Googled droid, and then nothing much really came up, weirdly, just pictures. There wasn't explicitly it was a robot. Yeah. And I was in the taxi on the way to the audition, and I was like, shit, I really should know what a droid is. And I was asking my taxi driver, he was like, I don't know what a droid is. And he called his family, like, who wants a droid? <laughs> and the more, like, I didn't know, the more panicky I got. And then I got to the audition, and I was like, I'm just gonna play it like a human, because the chances are it's a human. Because yeah. most of the times when you audition, it's exactly. for humans. Yes. <laughs> and then, no, so I went in as a human and I did the audition. They were like, the guys were like, oh, that's really great, thank you. Could you um, try it a bit more droidy? <laughs> like, mm, what sort of droidy kind of vibe do you want? And luckily, one of the directors went like this. Honestly, I saw his hand. He was like, a bit more like. <laughs> and I was like, fucking robot. <laughs> I like, I know what they want now. <laughs> <laughs> they decided they didn't need it to be droidy at all in the end, so uh, I think it might have worked in my favour that way. So. Are you a good study? I, the last time you were here, you did me, and you were very good. You did my laugh very well. That was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's... Do you do lots of people? Are you one of those actors? No. Yeah, <laughs> a few, yeah, but I mean, I think, I think, I think a lot of us have an ear, don't we? I mean, it's either music or it's or it's 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 voices or tones of voices. I mean, you know, I used to muck around with dictaphones at school for ages and just you know do interpretations or impersonations of people and create characters. And it's it's just sort of having an ear. It's part of what we do, I guess. I mean, even if it's not a real person, just to imitate or have empathy with a state or a human being of any general. You were doing Chewbacca during the clip. Was I? In Sorry. time with the Chewbacca thing, just natural well, knee that's, jerk. That's one of my favourite Chewbacca moments. It's just that. <laughs> I could do it. I mean, that... <laughs> did I take you back? <laughs> you, look, you look shocked into being back on set. <laughs> Is the thing about your your lightsaber being a different color? Is that story true? That you the purple lightsaber? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, when I first got that job, I didn't know what I was gonna do. When I said I wanted to be in Star Wars, George invited me over to the ranch. I got over and told him, "Look, I just want to be in the movie. I'll be a stormtrooper. You can put me in one of those white suits. Let me run across the screen. <laughs> Nobody needs to know that but me, and I'll be happy." He was like, "No, we'll figure out something." So I got over here, and he made me a Jedi. Um, you know. Um, and I was pleased. I did some scenes with Yoda, and I did some scenes with Liam, and everything was great. And then I came back the next year, and I was like, okay, he didn't kill me off. <laughs> and there's this big, we had this big arena fight scene with all these Jedi in there fighting or whatever. And I was like, well, shit, I want to be able to find myself in this big old scene. So I said to George, you think maybe I can get a purple lightsaber? And he's like, <laughs> lightsabers are green or lightsabers are red. And I'm like, yeah, but I want a purple one. You know, you know, I'm like the second baddest Jedi in the universe next to Yoda. You think, you said, let me think about it. And when I came back to do reshoots, he said, I'm gonna show you something. It's already causing a shit storm online. You know, and he had the purple lightsaber. And I was like, yeah! Oh, yeah. So um, I could find myself in that big fight scene in the middle of that, you know. There's like 300 lightsabers in there. There I am right there. <laughs> They make the purple already. one now. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, they make it. Oh, hang on. Wow. There you go. <laughs> that's the expensive that's one. Awesome. No, there's nothing to do with it. It just... What? Well, there's a couple oh, things sorry. you can do with it, and one of them would be give it to me. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Someone in the office would be you know, so Can I just say, upset. someone in the office is Someone in the office is going to be really pissed. There you go. I'll touch Look it, it'll be worth oh more. <laughs> How's it feel? You know who would love this. My son. Oh, if you hit it, it no, does but... things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh it makes God. noise. Yeah. Look at that. If my son had that, I would be decapitated. He does! <laughs> no. Oh. I have the real one at home that has bad motherfucker right here. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. <gasps> you look good. See, she's auditioning. Yeah, she's auditioning. Job is in. It's like going up for bat. <laughs> yeah, you can be. You like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is amazing. This gives you power. Yeah, you look good with it. I feel good. Don't with touch that. that part. Oh, you don't touch that? <laughs> no. You, you burn the fingers up. Sus. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, it just went off in your hands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said that before. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I have that one in my closet. Say, it's not his to give away. <laughs> and I, I've heard uh, mixed reports. Is it true or not that you you kept a lightsaber? Uh, I officially don't own a lightsaber. Oi. <laughs> Props guy gave me one. No, he didn't. <laughs> because they bought some uh, oh, lightsabers, which oh, I, they, they're pretty good, Rick aren't Macau. they? Now, oh, that one's on already. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, hang on. You have to know what you're doing with these, you y see. You do, though. Oh, yeah. do, you, do you want that? Is that the, which one would you like? Which one looks like yours? Um, the one in the middle is, I think, uh, the, the one I use. That's, uh, that's Alec Guinness's one. Oh, then it's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. This these one. are really nice. It's amazing. How do you turn that Can one on? Can you bang them against each other? Will they break? Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> The sound effects yourself, don't you? Do you want, a, do you want one? Not at all. <laughs> Come on. There you go. There you go. Go, go. You get a good swing. Oh, right look on. at that! <laughs> what? That's fantastic. But can you make the noises? Oh, can I? Is it true that you did this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked this a thousand times. Yeah. Like in Rocky, they did this in Rocky as well, where they had to. You would make the sound effects yourselves. <laughs> so they had to go back and, like, sound was a nightmare because it was a bunch of people going, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, there, uh, to begin with, it was quite difficult not to make the sound. Yeah. And also when it goes away, because it makes that nice noise when it goes down. Oh, yes. How, how do you switch Have you heard off? that in Rocky, the partly, like, the, in the first film particularly? It's just loads of sound effects of Sylvester Stallone going, <laughs> Let's have the lights down. Let's have the lights down. Okay, so lights you, have down. To, you have to start them up. Oh, okay, so oh, off, yeah. off. <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, yeah, much there. Oh, there, there, it's off now. There oh, there you go. Sorry, there you go. Okay, so when you put it on, it has to make this turn of noise. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's doing it. Mine keeps going off though when I twirl it. I could. Ow! <laughs> they break. They break. They're oh, 150 see, quid each. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how much are they cost? 150 quid each. They're good though, aren't they? If I, are you going to prick it? If I throw you something, can you get? Get it over. Do it over here. Hang on, I'll throw this here. Wait, 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 who's who? You just. You, there you go. Actually, I should be throwing. Can you Maybe, play, Can you throw a ball, Chris? <laughs> oh, don't be like that. I can't. Right. Throw it. Don't be no, no. You go, you go, you go, you go. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, I go, we're going. Let's baseball it. Baseball then. it okay. instead. Okay. Yay! Well done. Very good. Woo! Uh, beautiful. If you want to. What are you going to do with them? You can have them if you want to. Well, we can sign them and give I'm them to charity. Oh, that's a really good idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You sign two and you're going to count. That's a very good idea. I'm going to sit here like this on the rest of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a snooker player. Like yeah. <laughs>